Now, if someone came up to you and said, hey, do you use uh, polyvinyl acetate towels? You'd probably say, heck no, I wouldn't use that. But that's what this is. This is PVA drying towels. It's a very common towel. Not everyone uses them, but you do see a lot of people in the automotive industry use them to dry off their vehicles. And so PVA, once again, stands for polyvinyl acetate. And these drying towels are amazing. Uh, let me just read off uh, on this container uh, some of the features. It's a high-tech absorbent material uh, that has uh, the ability to hold over five times its weight. And it's drip-free when saturated. And so these towels are relatively lightweight, especially when they're bone dry. And they're not very expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the container and show you what it looks like. And some of the things that you can use it uh, in your daily life and for, you know, different purposes, especially if you're talking about uh, preparedness. So this is what the PVA towel looks like. It kind of reminds me of synthetic leather, like a leather tanned hide. It's a very uh, unique type of material in its dried state. And once again, it's very highly absorbent of moisture and water, just liquids in general. And so it could be very useful to drying off a surface when that's important to do such. Maybe it's in an emergency situation. Maybe you're out in the rain and you're needing to dry off really quick and warm up. Well, this could be applied to your body and it could be used to help dry you off as you um, get in front of a heat source and change into dry clothes. So that's one way to help you is to try to wick away moisture so that you don't get hypothermic. Another use though is if you're in a situation where you don't have water and maybe you were forced to spend the night somewhere, maybe your car broke down in a rural area and you have no cell signal and you're forced to spend the night in your car and in the morning, though, you're becoming very thirsty, possibly even dehydrated. Well, with this towel, you can approach the leaves and the dew on the grass, anywhere that, where there's moisture. Maybe you find a small creek or just a little spring that's gurgling in the distance, and you put this and let this soak. Uh, you can wring this out and, and put this in your container. Uh, you could boil it or treat the water, whatever is appropriate in your area. And uh, at least you'll have some type of water so you don't get dehydrated. So this could be used for that. There's a lot of other applications. There's probably some first aid applications uh, for wound management. And also uh, you could put a, a strip of this PVA towel on the bottom of your backpack. And so in case any moisture does kind of creep in, uh, it would be absorbed by this instead of just sitting on the bottom of your pack. Now, there's a lot of packs that have grommets and ways for the water to escape, but some packs don't have that. Of course, it's also advised to have items in, in separate containers or at least in types of, um, of pouches or waterproof um, uh, compartments that would be resistant to any type of invasion of moisture. But just in case, though, you could have this as a backup just to help absorb any type of moisture that does creep in. And so that's just something to think about. There's a lot of other uses, I would imagine, especially just around the house. Uh, but I would have to say, though, for a bug out bag or a get home bag or a readiness kit, uh, the PVA towel uh, does have its place. And just for a few dollars at your local dollar store. Um, it's something that you probably shouldn't overlook. As always, thanks for coming along, and I'll catch you later.